Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or whatever you're doing out there. Hey, you know what folks? When I say all kinds of games, I really do mean it, and we are putting that to the test today, aren't we? I'm back with a new one to the channel, and this is just a charming, fun little game that I don't think is taking itself too seriously. It's adorable, and it is $1.99 out on the steams. So if you like what you see here, this is not gonna hurt your wallet too much out there. What we have here is an action roguelike of sorts that takes place in this lovely loop and we are simply a frog on a skateboard. When I heard about this game, my first inclination was I have to play that right away. That sounds adorable. And I'm happy to tell you that it is. Uh, there aren't too many controls in the game. We have a jump. We have a button that changes our direction. And we have kind of a slide maneuver. We can hit the enemies by running into them. We can hit them by just going straight Mario and jumping on their heads. Let's replace some health here. But this is a nice change of pace. I've been playing a lot of Witchfire, and if you've been hanging out and watching that series that really has been popping off on a, a daily basis, um, yeah, that's a tough game. And it's very dark fantasy, so uh, this is a nice change of pace for a moment, right? Still loving Witchfire, don't worry. But... This is kind of a, uh, it's a palate cleanser of sorts. So, hey, we're gonna have a nice run. We're hopefully gonna get super duper powerful with our frog and spear some other frogs. Now off to the right hand side there, we've kind of got a tracking of our progress through the area. I think we'll go ahead and put the point into strength this time. Oh gosh, it's Frogo the Bad. Speaking of bosses that we're gonna run into, gotta watch out for Frogo the Bad. All right, we need to avoid him and our dash is gonna come in handy on this fight. All right, only one hit so far. I'll, I'll take it, I'm okay with it. I have to admit, this spear is reminding me of a new show that I've been kind of sucked into as of late. A classic trick that deals damage multiple times. Super fast flip that summons lightning deals magical damage. Let's go with that. I have discovered a show called Naked and Afraid. It's kind of one of those survival shows where folks are out there. Boy, we are taking some hits here. It's one of those survival shows, but only in this one, nobody has clothing. And uh, I don't know that it adds the experience, but you know, they're out there with spears and knives and I was just watching an episode where these three guys spotted a gigantic electric eel. And, you know, these guys haven't eaten in, gosh, three, four days, you know, so you can imagine. We need the health. Let's do that. Ooh, we got another boss type encounter happening here. Okay, we, we've got to got to maybe avoid the red. We can just hang out behind this guy. So they spot this eel and 
you know, they're super, super excited to see the eel. But they've got to, you know, they've got to go after the eel. And they're trying to do so in a way where they don't get shocked badly. So they take their jab at the eel and it goes well. But then the eel is trying to escape in the mud. Archer hat, five damage, shoots arrows in a forward arc. That's kind of cool. Magical projectile spawn fireballs that go... I like the sound of that. You know what we need, though, is some health. My goodness. Oh! That's the way the cookie's going to crumble on that one. Let's do one more run. This is fun. So this thing is trying to escape, and the three guys are taking turns hitting it with a knife. But each time they do that, and even as they get close to it in the water, they're getting shocked badly. And the one gentleman I actually busted a cut when this happened. The one gentleman talks about how he's actually preparing the other guy for the blast that, that he's gonna receive. And he says, hey, you gotta be you gotta be ready for it. You gotta be ready for this. It's gonna feel like you're getting hit in the chest by a horse. I thought, wow, that's quite a way to describe that. That doesn't sound pleasant in the least. So, over the last several days, I have turned into a naked and afraid addict. Way back in the day, I was also addicted to a show called dual survival and that had two gentlemen with very different ideas of survival concepts coming together in a variety of areas and you know the one guy I think his name was Cody Lundeen I don't know how I remember that but you got a guy out in the Arctic and he doesn't have any shoes or socks and so the other guy with him I think his name was Dave He's going nuts seeing this, you know, as you can imagine. All right, this is this is going a little bit a little bit better this time on Frago the Bat. I like that shock deal. That's pretty good. Go through the screen and deal criticals with all your non-projectile hits. Landing with this trick um, all right, let's do that. We've got to stay away from those guys when they start looking angry, turns out. Don't want to get hit by their attacks. Okay, let's go with that and buff our lightning spell. I think I'm going to take in that new horror film. What is it? Talk to me? Speak to me. It's one or the other. I'm excited. I love watching all those movies this time of year. I saw some takes on Twitter, just speaking of, of horror films. 
you like the Nightmare on Elm Street series, it, it's a favorite of mine. Throws multiple juggling balls all around. Let's do it. But I saw some takes out there about New Nightmare. This was the one that came out after Freddy's Dead. And I don't know if it was just the time that I saw it. Maybe I didn't appreciate it. But these folks out on Twitter were saying, Hey, this is my favorite in the series. And I thought, wow, that's a... That's a bold statement. I never would have went with that one. So I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna re-watch that movie. Give it another shot. I didn't think it was the best, but again... Maybe there was just something I missed about it. And I need to see it again for myself. Alright, let's... Go... With that. Kinda had to do that. Well, I guess I could have changed course a little bit and avoided that. If you like what you see, per usual, I will include a link to the game in the video description. And if you can't get to it right now, maybe you wish list it and help this dev out. game came out in July and I think it's sitting at a very positive review score right now all right we're gonna get a win on this stage plus one luck let's go strength on this one. Oh god Frago's the twins oh no there's two of them okay well as long as they Ooh, sheesh. The music seems so appropriate. An epic battle, but also the silliness. All right, let's get these guys. We're getting close. Oh, there it is. There it is. Took that one right in the schnoz. Hey, folks, this is a game called Froggy's Battle. It's charming and cute, and it does bring the fun. I'm not sure how long of a game is, but again, it is a dollar and 99 cents out on Steam. If you're looking for some fast fun, this one might bring it for you. Hey, thanks so much for the support. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. Let's do this again sometime out on the Goat Force Gaming channel. We'll get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because, well, that's what we do every time. And you know what? Uh, we'll give away at least one video game every week because giveaways are awesome. We're going to give away 100 games in 2023. Can you believe that? It's because of you and your support. All right, take care. We'll see you next time out there.